have an overview of the uh, system. So Jan and I are Polish clubbers. Um, so our one club opening is either 12 to 14 balanced or strong. And so our minimum opening bids with clubs unbalanced start with two clubs. Um, but otherwise, it's, it's, not, it's not that dissimilar from standard. Um, and we also switch uh, our one of a major responses to a one of a minor opening. So one minor pass, one heart shows spades, and one minor pass, one spade shows hearts uh, by unpassed hands. Uh, and uh, other than that, it's uh, pretty vanilla, upside down signals, and uh, here we go. All right, so uh, Jan's overcall the spade here um, as a passed hand. Uh, could be right to defend with my four triple three and just lead a spade, but I'm a big fan of kind of making the bid that's in front of my nose. So we'll see what happens. Push them up to the three level and hope that my bits and pieces are enough to go plus. Hmm, interesting. So Jan didn't open a week two bid, but here he is competing to the three level where he'd usually have six spades. It's probably not going to matter because I'm likely to be the dummy, but I, I sort of have this wonder whether he might be six four in the majors. That would be a good reason for him to have six spades and not have opened the bidding, two spades. So I'm kind of tempted to lead a heart, but not that tempted. Hmm. Well, it does look like he was, in fact, he had four hearts, hopefully, probably six, four to compete here. Um, doesn't, this doesn't feel good for the defense. Pitching spades, which doesn't feel like you want spades. That seven of uh, spades is also kind of high. I feel like he might be trying to suit preference me for hearts. Right? If he's pitching spades, that's inherently discouraging. So, since any spade he pitches would be discouraging, I feel like there might be some suit preference overtones in that seven of spades. But at any rate, the moment and just hold up the clubs and 
see what happens. Seven, four. Well, he's not playing all of his high spades kind of from the top down, it doesn't look like. Seven, four, three, and maybe there's the two in there also. All right. He's asking for a heart. I'll play a heart. And I feel like we are running out of interesting possibilities here. I feel like after my lead, we probably couldn't defeat this hand anymore. All right, he's gonna make three. Excuse me. Four. Uh, even if I had continued a spade, um, Espen would have known that the suit is blocked. He knows I have the jack of spades because boy, because uh, Jan didn't put the jack on dummies 10, uh, but he would have been able to try to develop a 10th trick in hearts and, and comfort. I got four diamonds, one heart is five, one spade is six, and a club is seven. Hmm. Well, I don't really want to break any suits. Ooh, that's a good start. I was going to win the queen of spades and duck a spade on the way back. Looks like Boya has jack 10, 9, 15 spades. So I'm up to eight tricks. And I might as well duck here and guarantee myself pretty much a nice trick there. It'd be hard to go down after that. All right. So now all of a sudden, uh, I'm. I've got that good seven of clubs here, so let's go ahead and take this finesse. And let's see here what... So I'd like to squeeze Boya in the majors. And let's think about the points here. So uh, I don't really have any great read on where the king of hearts was. If I thought that um, Espen had it, I could kind of lead the queen of hearts to sort of transfer the guard in hearts to Boya. But here, hmm, Boya's got jack to nine fifth. He's got a king. I don't, I don't really know 
um, much else. So I'm just going to play extremely straightforward bridge. And just hope that in this ending, boy, is last hard as they can. Nope. transfer squeeze would have worked if I'd let the queen of hearts from dummy when I was over there. I could have made an extra trick, but that's pretty, uh, pretty esoteric. No reason to believe that anything would have been different if the king and jack hearts had been switched. So our one diamond opening is pretty much a standard American one diamond with the exception that uh, partner's never gonna have a balanced hand with four diamonds. So Jan's either gonna have five diamonds or maybe four, 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 one, or four diamonds and five clubs and unbalanced minimum. But pretty, pretty similar to uh, standard folks. It's not, not strictly limited. He's gonna have less than a game for us. But. Meanwhile, here it looks like he has substantially less than a game force. Um, and one of the advantages of playing um, sort of a one diamond is typically five cards is on this kind of deal. I'll be able to lead a diamond as opposed to a spade. Uh, of course, a spade could be right, but um, since we're quite likely to have a uh, by three diamond fit and partner is the one with the majority of the entries. That's the way to bet. So let's see here, uh, 10 points for uh, for dummy and 15 for the one no trouble overcaller and five for me leaves partner with 10 maximum. Uh, I don't think that Espen is shading too much vulnerable against not opposite a past partner. Um, so I think Jan is the joker here. He's probably opened in third seat at favorable vulnerability, hopefully with a good suit. So we're just gonna use our entries, should we have any, to plow away in diamonds. This is a reverse Smith Echo kind of situation. I'm telling you, and I, I like diamonds. Um, obviously, I don't have too much there, but uh, I might have had six deuce double ten or something like that. So I want to kind of let him know that I'm pretty confident he belongs continuing diamonds, even if he has jack ten fifth or something like that. That's going to be our best shot.
Now that's interesting. Obviously, Jan is trying to disrupt their communications by returning a suit that's now solid. Um, not 100% sure I know what he's up to. In theory, this hard is suit preference. I, I don't really want to flag the king of spades and get, uh, have Aspen make some play like the uh, low fade from ace queen third towards the jack four if I just kind of play up the line and not, not, not worry too much about it. I think I'm pretty sure Jan probably has short spades the way it's going. So he probably has an idea that I have the spades. Hmm. That's interesting. Could he have four diamonds and five clubs? All right, well. All right, I'm gonna throw in a little false card here. I feel like he's, this is a strange looking play to pitch a club there. Feels like a man with one, three, Five, four, or five, which is an opening one diamond in our run. Try to take the pressure off of Jan. So let's just kill the Clara's hand. Uh, short of short of juice in this one. Doesn't look like there was much to do. Yeah, didn't 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 have his traditional values. Pretty sure that, well, actually, I think that's a transfer. 
normally they play transfer responses to one club. I suppose there's uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I had my suspicions. Days were missing. So I feel like these guys, this is probably some sort of uh, check back. It looks like two clubs forced two diamonds, either to play or to make some invitational bid. So here, um, this is the so-called XYZ convention where uh, the opponents are treating this one spade rebid similar to the way they treat a one no Trump rebid, like two way check back. So uh, boy has just shown an invitational hand with five spades. This is the kind of auction where uh, um, these methods show well. You get to make your invitation at the two level. Now, uh, Espen's two no trump here is uh, invitational, right? He knows there's a five three spade fit, so if he wasn't interested in the game, he would just pass two spades. So I would guess he's got four triple three and something in the 13, 13 to a bad 14 high card boy range. And boy is three spades, says, hey, I'm distributional and I'm minimum. So leave me alone. I really kind of want to double this uh, because I think that the trumps are breaking badly, but I know that. Uh, Boya is an experienced and clever enough opponent to know that I might be doubling with short spades as opposed to long, so I, I don't want to alert him to a good play in the Trump suit, potentially. I'm just going to uh, go quietly. And I have to lead. So I'm just going to lead. I think probably Boya has short clubs, but I expect them to kind of go down if I don't below any tricks on the opening lead. Huh, interesting. Interesting that he didn't uh, pass to no Trump. Um, so I'm just trying to get out of my hand without giving anything away. And the one club opening in the opponent's style isn't really showing a, re a club suit. So this just seems the safest. That nine has a jack nine third feel about it, let's see. So what's declares hand? He's got the king of clubs and well, let's assume if partner has ace, queen, jack of spades, they're already down. Well, they're already down even pretty much unless he played the nine from queen, jack, nine. So if he has queen jack nine of spades, the king of clubs is six. He's going to be missing something in one of the reds and no real place to put it. So he's just going to drift down. So if partner ducks this trick, um, I'll have a chance to encourage hearts and partner should have a good count on the high cards by now. Um, so partner will I'll basically show my partner queen, jack, fifth of clubs and a high heart, and he should be able to figure out the best defense from there. I could have pitched a discouraging diamond, but in an upside down context, the six of diamonds is a little bit low and the 10 of diamonds is a little bit dangerous. So I'll just 
settle for an encouraging heart. Just kind of exit. Oh man, I should have doubled. And we'll just let Declare make his own arrangements. Yeah, right. Okay, well. Exciting on this one. If Jan had had one more little spot in there, it's almost one of the, he could almost return a club that get me in, you know, with the Ace of Hearts to play a high club back. Um, here, declare, because uh, he had such good spots, he could kind of rock with dummies. Um, ten of spades. Can let my uh, cat Cleopatra play for a few hands. All right. So I think in the opponent's style here, because of the transfers, um, Boy has denied um, three-card hearts. So I think he's probably, and, and Jan's three of spades is third and fifth. Um, it's not going to be five spades, because from Queen Jack fifth, he would have uh, led the queen and probably overcalled one spade in the first place. So. I think Boya has two spades, probably two hearts, six clubs, and three diamonds. In theory, he could be two, 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 seven for his bidding, but then Jan would have had five diamonds, and it looks like Jan has some points. So I think Jan would have overcalled with that. So I think, I think uh, two, two. Three six is most likely with two one three seven, an outside possibility, and I don't really need entries on this deal. So I think my plan is to cash two spades and play a diamond, and hopefully, um, I can partner can get in and give me a rough. I cash these just in case. Or has ace and one heart, so maybe he can get a discard or something. So this should be kind of maximum tricks. I don't know how many maximums going to be. It depends how good my partner's hand is, but maximum, whatever that is. The boy is thinking he must have the ace of diamonds, maybe ace king even. Probably ace king, actually, because with ace, he probably would just play second hand low and kind of await developments. So if he has ace king of diamonds, queen double from the spades is nine, you know, and then maybe some, some clubs. 
maybe king queen six the club something like that what does that give my partner ace of clubs ace of hearts jack of spades jack of diamonds 10 points he would have passed with that something like that seems quite possible If that's the hand, I certainly expect Boy to win and dummy and play a club. But it could be a lot of variations on that theme. Similar hands to that. Well, all of my analysis was not right. Um, I wonder what he could have been had to be thinking about whether to finesse. It just seems straightforward, but I'm going to get a rough with my natural trump trip here, it feels like. And now I want to try to get a Trump promotion. So heart over and let's see if we can't make something interesting happen here. Oh, I was hoping the partner would play another diamond, but maybe he doesn't have one. I hadn't thought about two, one. I don't know why I didn't think about that, but turns out this hand, the uh, the handwriting was on the wall once I switched to a diamond. And boy, I made a good play of finessing the queen of clubs instead of the ten. Hmm. All right, well, anyway, here I am, and I am going to... So uh, back on the other one, Boy made a good play of finessing the queen of clubs because had he correct, quote unquote, correctly finessed the 10 here, guessed that I had the jack, I was going to make a diamond rough anyway. So his only chance to make the contract was to hope that the king of clubs is on side and he could draw Trump quickly. Anyway, back at the ranch here, um, our two clubs opening shows 11 to 15 with long clubs. But I think that this hand with those great club spots and aces is an upgrade to 16. So I could either open a 15 to 17 no trump, which is reasonable, or I can just open a club and plan to rebid two clubs, showing uh, 16 to 19-ish. My partner's heart, one heart showed spades. Um, I am going to double. There's some strong hand. And, uh, unfortunately, this has gotten rather high before I get to mention my clubs that the downside to uh, the Polish club methods the auction gets preempted quickly. Um, opener has to act uh, without being able to describe his precise hand type. So this is a, the type of auction where Polish club shows at a disadvantage relative to 
precision or other kind of strong club methods where um, I could have had already shown what I had by opening a club and could kind of retire from the auction unless partner wanted to do something exciting. So four diamonds from partner, strong hand, what have you got? That's what I got. Feels like partner has a singleton diamond, probably, both for his bid and the opponent's bidding, right? They obviously don't have a ton of high cards the way it's going. Um, so, and they're a bit vulnerable against that, so reasonably likely to be on 10 trumps, although I don't know for sure. And here we go. So we'll see whether my aggressive stance in the bidding um, by upgrading um, worked out. Hmm. Anxiously awaiting the dummy. Although, <laughs> All right, well, it seems like we've gotten to a solid spot. All right, fourth best, that's close. And I have a feeling this is going to work because of the preemptive ratings, but. We survived. We're in our best contract, but we're in a good contract. We got the slam. Probably was an important hand to upgrade. It would have been hard for partner to envision so many aces and kings if I showed 11 to 15. So, um, you know, that's always a worry, right? We, we often want to kind of overbid a little bit early on with a lot of aces and kings. Uh, because if partner is on, if partner is balanced, my hand won't necessarily be that great. Maybe I've overbid by a jack if my partner has a relatively balanced distribution. But if partner has an unbalanced hand, all my aces and kings will be um, exciting for him. So uh, in the long run, these hands with all aces and kings. Uh, Aggression works tends to work well. I could have invited game on this one. Usually, opposite of 15 to 17, no trump. Uh, with eight high card points vulnerable, I would invite. But this hand is really has a lot of queens and jacks, so it's kind of the opposite of the previous hand. And it also has no tens, which are very important in three no trump contracts um, on average. So I decided to kind of go low. Yeah. So we'll see how that we'll, how that goes. I'm rooting for Jan to make exactly seven. All right, time for a glass of juice. Ooh. Go Jan, he's up to eight now. This is Adam, everyone. I just got here. I had a uh, prior engagement. Hi Adam, it's Kurt here in the UK. Yeah, good to see you. Thanks for helping out. Oh, you're very welcome. Oh, uh, Jan took an unusual play in the heart suit. It was tough for uh, Stevie to know to go up with the queen. He could have been giving something up. And in fact, the contract was cold anyway. I mean, he didn't have a chance to beat it by going up with the queen. He might well have known that. Hi, Chris. Adam Bedelsky just joined. Hey, Adam. So, uh, Jan has surpassed your expectations already. No, I didn't say I expected seven. I said I hoped for seven. 
well. Exactly, Seven. I, I wanted bad breaks. When you're low on one of these hands, you, you know. Ah, uh, I see. Got it. Breaks. It's one of these. Not that low. If I, was, if I were playing in person, I would have put down the dummy and said, bad luck, partner. That's what happened. Ah, uh, yes. That's an O-Trump with eight points. You, you want, you want uh, foul breaks and all your finesses to lose. Well, I was playing yesterday. My partner invited with a worse eight count than this one, and we did, in fact, uh, go down a trick in 3 no. Of course, some of it might depend on the quality of the opposition. Uh, here, I expect good defense. So, Well, state of the match, he was right to invite, because we, we, we needed to make 3 no to be in it. So there is that. But it was not a barometer, so he was uh, guessing. Hi, Chris. You are too much in the shade. Move a bit. Oh, but, but I haven't had a haircut in three months, so I... <laughs> neither, neither have I. <laughs> Nobody has. <laughs> I'm in. Hey, Yaku. How are hey. you? Hey, hey. Dorit is also here. Hey, Dorit, how are you? Hi, fine, and you? Very yeah. good. How do you survive your uh, the, the, uh, pandemic? Uh, well, staying indoors is a good start. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you yeah. too. <laughs> I've been really... Uh, last week, we sneaked out uh, about 50 kilometers from Tel Aviv with the car to a uh, nature spot at a nice picnic with the police helicopter hovering above us. I'm not joking. <laughs> and uh, but that was the only day I was out in two months. Have you been uh, drinking some nice wines in, in quarantine? Uh, yes. Beer. Uh, not beer. You, you drink beer. No. Um, yes. To the picnic? Uh Ah, no, in the picnic we drank beer. beer. But yeah, we did. But Ron, I don't want to disturb you. No. Well, These people are, don't have to suffer there. Watching Jan, I'm sort of in mild dismay watching Jan take a lot of extra tricks as the opponents become desperate trying to defeat one no Trump. But uh, we'll see how it goes here. It's okay to smoke here? Yeah? <laughs> Hi there. Let me uh, let me just mute my other meeting. Hold on. I feel like there's a gremlin in the cards where every time I pass one no drum with eight points, all the other suits are 3-3. Three, three. Maybe it's just my imagination. Of course, here, had I invited, uh, yeah, I had 15, so. Hmm. That's interesting. It's a very revealing discard. It looks like boy is being squeezed. I wonder if Jan's going to lead a diamond to the 10, cash the king, and then exit with a club to try to end play boy. That's what he's thinking about. Oh, no. I guess he's thinking about just trying to set up the club. That'll work, too.
start mode here. So we do something um, that's kind of my own homebrew um, in these auctions. So uh, our double here is usually a normal negative double with four spades exactly, but uh, we also double with weaker hands with exactly five spades. And so we arrived. So Jan kind of has a decision to make here about the diamonds. Uh, in the abstract, taking two diamond finesses is the percentage play by a little bit. Um, and maybe on this auction where East is mid hearts and lead clubs, um, that looks even better in some sense. Uh, but of course his entries are a little tricky so Might he consider leading the uh, jack of hearts and seeing if he gets a cover, since if he does, that gives him seven tricks right away? Yeah, it's an interesting um, thought. Of course, um, I don't know. My, my Jan may feel differently than I do about this particular situation, but for me, I, I sort of feel like when we're in a part score, um, trying to make the contract um, can potentially be overrated um, in the sense that if you go down one in a no trump one you could have made, if they, they make in the other room, ooh, well, well guessed, um, that's a four amp loss. But here, this, this play has a reasonable chance of making a large amount of over tricks. Uh, and so, again, if they play one no trump making one in the other room and Jan's able to make three potentially. Um, that's two imps, so uh, uh, he might have had that thought. Um, oh, I, no, I agree he made the right play. I was just mentioning the possibility. Yeah, no, I think it's a good uh, mention. I, so I don't know, uh, but I was just speculating on what his, his rationale may have been. Well, quite likely he never even saw it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a pretty astute declare. I would, I would not make that one play. I mean, it has it has risk in that you could go down in the cold contract if the opponent, if it isn't the king queen of hearts on sides, and the opponents can now take four clubs, two hearts, and a, spit, and a diamond. Yeah, I, I <laughs> see where you're coming from. Well, it's interesting that he chose to play Ace of Diamonds rather than take two finesses. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. Well, I'm not quite sure either. Maybe he thought that Boya would have split there, although I can't quite see why. Yeah. I was wondering if I had missed something. I don't think so. Uh, Jan is very much... Um, sort of an at-the-table player. Uh, he's willing to back his judgment about how he thinks the opponents would behave and make what are, in theory, um, lesser technical plays. All right. Now, Jan's three clubs here, we play a very, very aggressive style um, here. So um, he could definitely have 
queen six of clubs and and nothing else um, kit's probably thinking why, why would you wait for someone hand that strong but um that, that's probably about uh, a minimum here um so i could sacrifice but i do feel like there's a decent chance of a diamond rough and also uh i do have a lot of losers um if partner does have a hand like that so i'm just gonna kind of go quietly here hope for that Jack of diamonds followed by the 10. Okay, well, there's no real reason not to cash a second diamond because if the jack, yeah, that's what I thought. Any reason, well, I will try this. The slight risk of partner kind of messes up um, but I can't see any reason for him not to play hard back here. Unless he has the king of clubs, in which case this is safe. Of course, uh, some slight risk. Uh, there we go. All right. If the player had a stiff heart and a stiff king of clubs, partner would need to play a heart back here to beat it, but I thought it was worth the risk in case partner has queen of one spade and can cross to my ace of hearts for an overrun. But anyway... Oh. Uh, also, also declare it could be void in hearts and partner could have the, uh, the, king, the king of spades. That's not really possible in our style um, because that would give uh, partner um, just like w w way too many high cards. Because uh, that gives declare, uh, that gives uh, partner all the clubs. Uh, it just doesn't really quite add up for us. In fact, that hand that Jan, I would have passed Jan. This is a little bit you won't understand this kit or you won't agree with it, but I would have passed Jan Pan because for me that's just far too strong for a favorable vulnerability. No, preempt. No. I have standards, but they're the reverse of everybody else's standards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn, that's strong. I, I, th I thought pass was a four letter word, Chris. <laughs> well, you and I are both aggressive, but maybe in different ways. I like to be disciplined about my aggression and always have nothing. Hmm. All right, well, that five of spades could be second best for a week holding or or it could be fourth best. I can tell you one thing, if it's fourth best, uh, this is gonna be a very quick hand. I don't think it's fourth best though, because um, there's just so many lower spots missing. Although the rule of 11 um, indicates that it could be. It's the rule of 11 says, well, you take the five of the spot card that's led, the five, subtract that from 11. Um, and that means there are six cards higher than the five outside of Jan's hand. I see two of them in the dummy and three in my hand. So it is possible here that the Clara has, you know, 10 third of spades or something silly like that. And we could run the suit. But uh, we'll see. I'm not pessimist by nature. But either way, I think this is going to be a fast hand. Because uh, I see that the diamonds are coming in, kind of no matter what they are. So, why why you think the diamonds are coming in? Well, because I have too little, and so even if you know, part, boy has king and one, jack and one, ace and one, and they're they're coming. Well, by then, partner spades will be set up. Well, but if it's fourth best, he's going to be down. As I said, it'll be resolved one way or the other. Um, well, it might it might. What does he lead from, like ten fifth or something like that? He has a choice, although 1050 probably just lead fourth best. Uh -huh. But in theory, a choice with sort of intermediate holdings. But if he led, he could lead second highest if you wanted some sort of shift. If he had 10 fifth of spades and ace queen 10 fourth of hearts, I'm pretty sure we'd see the second highest spade. But uh, normally, love. 
of course, it's all academic on this hand, since you're not going to have a problem. Yeah, no, I mean, on this hand, as I say, you know, it's going to be probably pretty quick, and uh, if it's going to be beaten, the partner's going to beat it in his own hand. Well, the fact that the clear is taking this long uh, trick one indicates maybe he has 10 fourth or something like that. Yeah, yeah, although. Um, boy is oh, right. so. Well, of course, he might just be talking. Mm. Yeah. And he's also just very deliberate. He might just be thinking. All right, well, anyway, here I'm going to give my little reverse Smith. I think partner probably expects me to have the king of spades here because if declare had ace king of spades declare probably would have played the jack from the dummy Claire started with ace ten third of spades. That meant he had to guess which way to play the diamonds. Well, so, so as to keep the guy with the five card spade suit out of lead. A natural play. All right, I'll I'll throw an encouraging heart. I'm pretty sure partner knows I have zero, so uh, might as well false card to Claire. Pretty sure Declare is not taking the club finesse. He's gonna run with his nine tricks. hand is uh, a little worrisome. I have this feeling I should pass, but I can't bring myself to do it. Ooh, now all of a sudden I have my bid, partner showed spades. That was unexpected. So even though I have this exciting shape, my hand has a lot of losers. So I'm just showing uh, four spades and a minimum opening. So with three spades, you could have spaded. Is that correct? Yes. After after the so if they had not doubled, we sort of switched the majors from both sides. So over Jan's heart, one heart joined spade. My one spade would show hearts. Uh, but here, uh, after the double, I can I can show uh, three spades. All right. I gather you didn't consider saving here. Uh, it's not my way. So when you say didn't consider, that's actually exactly right. It's just not the kind of thing I would consider. Um, all right. And so I'm going to do something like a little bit unusual um, and play the jack of diamonds at trick one. Um, now, sometimes... Uh, people think of this kind of play as a discovery play. You play the jack of diamonds to find out where the queen is. Um, that's actually not what I'm up to here. I'm mostly hoping that partner has the queen and that I'm a little bit worried that boy is going to sniff out my stiff king of hearts. That's kind of, that's probably the main piece of this deal, if there's anything interesting about it. Doesn't, uh, that, ar doesn't that argue for playing the king? 
No. Nah, if, any, if anything. No, I don't think so. I want to pre pretend like I have King, Queen, Jack of Diamonds. And then it'll find me with the King of Spades and hopefully you know, figure out that, like, maybe I can have my opening bid even without. Oh, I see. That's no, possible. Well, might it be important for you to find out where the uh, Queen of Diamonds is in case the Clara takes the heart finesse and you have to decide what to do? I care. I, I just, I'm just hoping to make my, 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 yeah, my, make my King of Hearts, see some suit reference in the meantime, and figure out, you know, figure out what to do from there. Uh, to me, well, I, well, what, I, I, what, what I mean is, if the Clara has the Queen of Diamonds, it might be right to cash the spades before you get in play. If the player doesn't have the Queen of Diamonds, you don't need to do that. If my partner shows the Ace of Spades, I'm probably going to want to cash the Spades anyway. Um, well, how are you going to read partner's heart card? Uh, carefully. <laughs> Just throwing out some thoughts. I'm yeah, not, no, really, it, it, I'm it, not it, really sure. It, it, it's, a, it's a solid ancillary reason to make the play. I'm a little sad that Boy has taken so long. This would have been a more more effective play if he had called quickly, and now he's. Well, gonna... Chris, remember he's just talking to, uh, you know, his people the same as you are. So, oh, I get it. but what I'm saying is, um, a fast Jack of Diamonds is a lot less likely to be King Jack Six than a slow one. Oh yeah, well. Regardless of his uh, reasons for tanking. On, online, in my opinion, there is no such thing as fast and slow. Well, everyone's entitled to his opinion. Well, particularly in this format where you're talking to people and, you know, you might be explaining anyway. I, I This feels like a think to me. Oh, it could be. Anyway, what you know, what I was looking at is, you know, if Declara has a say a double in club and Jack double in spades, Queen double the clubs, you better not shift to a spade. But if Declara has Ace Queen of Diamonds and the same distribution without the Jack of Spades, you better shift to a spade before you're forced to break the club suit. Yeah, I hear you. Um, although it's interesting, I mean, with a hand like that, you almost wonder if Declara might not just try a low spade at trick two, um, playing for playing for Jan to play him for a different kind of swindle. But we'll see. All righty, let's see what happens. Well, now, you, now you know. I do, well, I know some things, although, uh, let's see. Oh, he's stripping it right away, huh? Yep. No, and, just... and, and Jan has a double diamond. Exactly. Give my strong suit preference there. Hopefully, Jan uh, will read that. Uh, oh. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, I guess we lost interest in this hand. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's hard to imagine taking more than two clubs and a heart. And now he's gonna, he's gonna drop my king of hearts to add insult to injury. Oh, no, guess not. I guess Jan has the the thing. All right, well, let's just exit passively on general principles. So declare is probably probably has three clubs. You can't have three. Can't have three clubs. He's got four diamonds. Yeah, four diamonds, two spades, four hearts, and three clubs, probably. Sorry, right, guessing man. I don't think he has five hearts because he didn't overcall, and he has a lot of points. Oh, Chris, did you intend your nine of diamonds as suit preference or yeah. present count? Yeah, yeah, he doesn't really. On this particular, normally our second card is present count, but it's hard to imagine that Jan would care. Cares, uh, yeah. yeah. I just wanted him to know that if, it won spade to the jack, and he won the ace. That he should not switch the club. He should play back to spade. Is it, is it possible to clear is missing the queen of hearts and has a guess here? 
Well. No. <laughs> not anymore. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he'd have played the ace of hearts instead of taking the hook, I think, if he were off the king-queen. Yeah, although clearly now he's off the king-queen. Right, why, why? You know, otherwise he would have uh, claimed. Drawn Trumps and claimed. Oh, yeah, and oh, interesting. I should have said if he were off. Better throw my clubs away at the first opportunity under the ace, that is. Not there yet. Yeah. Make sure I don't get played here. Huh. I guess I guess Jan thought that the Claire was just going to get it right. Get this out of the way. Make sure we don't get end played. Mattered anyway. The diamond exit. General principles. Well, I would have done better to open this. Let's see the hand. All right. So multi two diamonds. We treat this sort of like it went two hearts past three hearts. Yeah. So a straightforward pass for the moment. I feel like I might be getting stolen from, but nothing I can do about it. Well, one, this looks pretty good. We play ace from ace king, so if Jan can find a club, a diamond switch at trick two, which looks natural, then we're going to beat the hand. Almost certainly, I should say. Unfortunately, my upside down six of clubs is very low. I really don't want him to play another club. I think he'd probably survive it anyway, even if he does. So, just one moment. I'll be back in a second.
some technical difficulties here. Obviously, declare is void to make that play. A mad bomber week two bid kit. You must uh, you must appreciate the style. Oh yeah. Well, interestingly enough, I've found that holding a side void generally is worse than holding a side singleton. I I a hundred percent agree. But they also did know that in kind of the nineteen fifties and things like that too. There were all these rules about not preempting with a side void, and then they kind of. People thought, oh, yeah, it's, it's, that's old-fashioned, but it turns out um, the side void is a real liability, particularly in the other major, uh, because sometimes you, you steal the, the opponent's nine-card fit and your partner's sitting there with ace-king-jack-10. Doesn't mean I wouldn't do it, but... <laughs> well, it's a flaw, for sure. Um, all right, so... Do I possibly have a slam here? Um, if my partner is a singleton club. I really don't need that much. So I am going to do my little asking dance here. Let's see if I can't find short clubs. Hmm. What does two spades show? Two spades is just a raise of one spade to two. And now, um, let's see here. Three, three quotes must have a meaning. Yes, give me one minute. Oh. All right, so three clubs is artificial. It says maximum with three card spades. Three spades says 
uh, okay, I still I have five spades and a game force, and I want you to show your shortness. Coded. No shortness, low shortness, high shortness. So I'm hoping for four clubs, which somewhat randomly happens to show short clubs. No, you're hoping for three net trumps, right? No shortness. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, three net trumps, no shortness. Never mind. So if I get four clubs. Uh, hey. Hey. So I'm just kind of envisioning um, Ace King. So, uh, I'm just trying, now I'm trying to think about, can I, if he's got, I'm just trying to think if there's any, all right, I'm just going to black with him. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree, he's such a big favorite to have with King of Diamonds. Yeah, it just it just feels like I mean maybe he's got the stiff ace of clubs and some sort of hand, but what kind? Of, what can you do? Yeah. If he doesn't have the king, he might have the jack. Could have queen jack four of the hearts. Throw all my diamonds away. I'm just never going to be able to uh, bid it scientifically from there. Well, so we've hit the end of our partnership science. Maximum with a stiff club and three drops. Oh, it's shown a maximum, already. <laughs> that, that puts the odds even better in your favor, yeah. yeah. Yeah, otherwise I would not have done this. If you could have had a minimum, I would have cubit hearts and then cubit hearts again and left it up there. He plays it even better. Uh, I don't think this... Going to be too much of the play. It doesn't sound oh, right. like. If some in some world he had queen jack four of the hearts and ace empty fifth of diamonds, uh, less likely to lead a diamond into the. Oop, he yeah, looks like. Ah. Oops. oops. We had a little forget. We forgot about the nun step, is I think what happened here. We had a little forget, but um, we have some plays. Well, those are basically on a finesse. Uh, oh, not quite. You don't have the nine of diamonds, do you? It's not a finesse. No, but I mean, you could cash the ace king of clubs and then take the diamond hook. Well. Oh, that's but, not clear how you're supposed to play it. I mean, you could no. just take the you could just take the diamond hook, and if the diamond's a three three, uh, yes. Well, but then the ace king of clubs doesn't hurt you. Uh, yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, that's true. I guess that's yeah. that. But looks like draw trumps first seems. Well, yeah, he's certainly going to draw trumps. Let's see which one of us messed up. I'm going to check my notes here. So, th so this is actually sort of interesting. If the defender is a little double dummy, duck the first two rounds of spades, then win the ace of spades and play a heart, that squeezes dummy. Actually, even ducking the first spade will do that. Mm. The point is, dummy wants to keep all their minors. So mm -hmm. actual... Huh. So if they if they duck the first spade, the clear is going to have to get an entry back to his hand to finish drawing trump. Up. Oh. Uh, they made it. Well, they took the second spade and played a spade back. Yeah. If they if they had played a heart back. Dummy would have been squeezed. Very. Oh, well, wait a minute. He's he has, they, no, they, he's they've limited his options anyway. Oh, yeah. that's true. That's true. He can't cash the ace can't club now. He still can't get back to his hand. Well, 
So I guess he's just forced to take the diamond finesse. Well, why not the club finesse? Uh, it needs three two clubs. It needs three two clubs. Maybe the club finesse is better. The diamond finesse needs three three diamonds, is what you're saying. You know, assuming you don't have to take the other finesse. Huh. I think you're right. It's funny. It feels right to take the diamond from that to me somehow. Yeah. You see, I'm not handicapped by having a feel for the game. Well, another possibility is to lead the ten of diamonds, because would it be obvious? Well, what if West has king fourth? What does he do? He can afford to duck with king fourth, can he? But then you'll be able to test the diamonds. In fact, you'll be able to test the diamonds regardless. So taking a diamond from this first does look better. It doesn't seem right. Why? I mean, if the diamond finesse is, if the, if the finesse you take right away is off, you're down. So that's 50-50. But well, no, take the, if the club finesse wins, you're called because the guy, well, I mean, whatever, we'll work, we'll work not, we'll exclude small singleton. Whereas if the diamond finesse wins, you haven't really made it yet. You probably, you, you most two thirds of the time, you still need the club finesse. Why are you called if the club finesse wins? You throw all the diamonds away. Well, that's if the club's a three, too. Well, whatever. So it could be like a low, stiff club over there if possible. No, my, my point is, if you take the diamond finesse first, you will be able to test, assuming it wins, you'll be able to test for the diamonds to be 3-3. Three, three. Whereas you won't be able to, no, I guess you'll be able to test the, you'll be able to test oh, the clubs yes. also. No, but you'll be able to test the clubs also, it's just as good. Yes. So I, I think you're, Chris is right, the club finesse first is better, after all. You're almost claiming it wins. But Jan's been through all this, I'm sure. So what's he thinking now? Um, he may well, he's, pr he's probably explaining it to, the, to everybody. Uh, uh, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we I, can watch the video later and find out. He's probably trying to figure out whether he can trust the opponents with the you know, eight of arts, eight of uh, spades. Let's see, I wasn't paying too careful attention to the little spots there. Apparently so. Oh, what do you know? Yeah, as I said, Jan, you know, he's not as much of a percentages player as he is to play his opponents. So. No. Oh, yeah. literally. I mean, my two-second play would have been to take the diamond finesse, but I, you guys have convinced me that the club finesse is better. All right. So, Jack at Oh, he, no, he's leaving squeeze possibilities open. Yeah. Here. Diamond to the dummy for a shop squeeze. No, gets... no. Just cash the king of clubs. Hmm. Well, he doesn't know what if RHO has four diamonds. And now you'd like to have that club finesse still available. Yeah, I, I think Jack of Diamonds and Diamond to Dummy seem superior um, because well, he agrees with you. First time for everything. Woohoo! Well, <laughs> All right, we got a little lucky. We're we're in a sort of poorish, eh, maybe not so poorish because they could have led clubs from the queen sometimes in this auction. So. Well, you certainly got it played from the right side, at least. Yes, well, that was you were poo pooing at me on that one, but uh, all right, it worked out for an un unusual reason.
Yeah, it's interesting. That so he he he, as you can see from the chat, he gave great credence to the eight of spades, which is what what, what does Jan have available here in your methods, Chris? Yeah, we're we're we don't do too much fancy stuff. So two no trump would be a game forcing spade raise with four card support, and three clubs and three diamonds would be natural and game forcing, and three hearts would be a three card let me raise or better. Three spades is just three spades. But we're gonna take a shot here. This could be, a, it's all gonna depend on the mesh. Yeah. I'm a little bit nervous here. It's the quietness of clubs. Uh, yeah. I, I, I definitely agree with uh, fitting the game because this is the type of, basically on distributional hands, I think it never pays to stop one short of game. You either go or you don't, you know, you just do it basically because you're never going to find out about the mesh. Thank you. You just do it. All right. Well, meanwhile, I have to figure out how to possibly make this hand. Well, first, they have to do something. Well, yes. Well, you might get a nice of clubs at this point. That doesn't help me. I'd probably rather have the King of Hearts. In other words, PS5 clubs, he may try to give his partner a club rub. I'm saying, but that just doesn't help me that much. Uh, I, oh, I think you could use the club trick. I mean, I could, but I, I, I could more use him starting to set up my hearts. Yeah. Well, the, diamond, the diamonds don't figure to be splitting. I mean, this is... <laughs> I, I'm in a world of hurt. We'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Oh, that's true. Good way that's to put true. It. That's true. I wouldn't exactly call you a favorite here. If I make this, I'm definitely gonna. Uh, I'm gonna have to, you know, do a little, a little prayer or something. If I believed in anything to pray to. If he continues hearts, uh, it might be right to, even though it looks wrong, to assume that West has the ten of spades. Oh, because yeah. I'm not sure, because I'm not sure you can make it if East has it. Precisely. All right. If he plays three rounds of spades, the simplest thing is just a three rounds of hearts, excuse me, to rough nine. It doesn't feel natural. It feels right. Well, go up queen and play the guy with a long spade step to 10, but uh, that's not going to help you probably. So the one, one issue is he's 5'5. Five, five. He hasn't, you know, led or switched to his singleton. Which, if he's in an ambiguous situation, is usually just a good simple play. So I'm a little bit feeling like he has a stiff spade at this point. Well, if he has the ace of spades, he's not going to rush to shift to a single because it's partly, you can't know, have a, can't a, have an ace. I'm not, I'm not totally sure that's right. Right? You know, in other words, from his perspective, his partner may have just one entry. You know, he might have to kind of get the shift, fly ace of spades, hit his partner's entry. Uh, who knows? We'll see. If he switches to a diamond, I may uh, I reserve the right to uh, modify my thoughts. At the moment, it feels like since he has some single then and he's not switching to it, it's probably a single then. Well, it's sort of funny. From his point of view, you know, if he has, say, a stiff diamond and a double and spade, any of the four suits could be right. It could be right, but just at some point you have to just play the simplest bridge you can. Yeah. No, I was, I was just looking at it from the defender's point of view. It's very unusual that any of the four suits, you know, could be the winning defense the, or the losing defense, you know, looking at the dummy. Excuse me. 
Well, if, <laughs> if the spades are four one, do you have any play at all other than the stiff ten? Uh, it's going to be rough sledding. Yeah, because I need to get two hearts rough in the dummy, and if I can't rough them with the seven and nine, yeah, it's hard to see what good things. Yeah. If if he does have the stiff ten, he knows it. He might just shift to it. I mean, I guess if he switches to the ace of clubs and he has jack and one diamond and the stiff ace of spades, maybe I could make. It's, it's getting it's getting thin. And by then, I mean. <laughs> and enough to go on a Weight Watchers ad. Well. Regardless of anything else, this hand is a victory because, boy, he'll be too tired to uh, play the next one. <laughs> Although he actually is a... What, what are your thoughts on partners' immediate three-spade bid as opposed to just passing and then bidding three spades of the three, the likely three hearts? My thoughts? Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I probably would have passed on the theory that if my partner has, so in our style, right, if, you, if I have 12 to 14 balanced, he's kind of just outgunned anyway, and I don't think three spades is going to do anything for him. And if I do have a shapely hand, the percentages are that my shortness is in his length. So I think that the, the fact that I showed up with short clubs is not that surprising. Well, I don't think he'd ever sell the three hearts, but I just talked okay. about passing first. But but I guess my point is that. Um, yep. Oh. All right, but it's probably the singleton jack of diamonds. I think well, might not be. Might not be, but yeah, it's it, that's a big play. All right, well, now let's see. Let's just see what we want to do. I probably should have been analyzing and being like, hey, well, what, what am I going to do if he switches to the diamond gem? <laughs> well, you couldn't expect, you didn't know, couldn't know this was going to happen. I couldn't. Um, so what am I, so I wonder if it's, it's one of these hands where if it's, I'm just trying to, trying to think here. If West has ace and one spade and the singleton jack of diamond. It, it just feels like such an unnatural spot. But I mean, on the other hand, he might have switched a lot faster otherwise. So if I play a spade to the, if West has the ace of spades, singleton, and the jack of diamonds, doubleton, then it's something like that, or even ace doubleton and jack singleton, I might be able to exhaust his trumps, throw a heart away on the fourth round of diamonds as East has to follow, and rough a heart in the dummy. So that would lose, but that's still losing three hearts. Hmm. Hmm. Still losing three hearts and a... Oh, that'll work. No, uh, it's still three hearts in a spade. It's not enough tricks. Why would you lose three hearts? Because I lost one already, and after I rough one, I'll have two more losers. So you, you rough two. Well, that's but the point is right. That, that we're back to sort of needing, you know, potentially the, uh, yeah, I could I could rough pitch one, rough one low, and all right, I think that's it. It just feels like my only shot is to play. Um, this. Mm. 
guess I'll just do this and see what happens. There. There. Well, now you're going to have to adopt that line of play for down one. Right, right. I mean, he's just going to, well, we'll see. Oh, now you're down too. Yep. Couldn't do anything about it. Neither the ace of spades or blessed. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not as big a cruncher as boy. I would have just played my jack of diamonds and seen what happened. All right. Well, time for. Uh, big version of the Polish club. When I have spades, it's eighteen plus. So if he bids a diamond showing hearts, that means if you're balanced, you transfer. You, you have to re you have to rebid a no trump or a heart. It's it's not it's not transfers. It switches. So a spade. switches whatever. Yeah. Well, no, what I mean is if you rebid a spade over that, that sh does that show the the this yeah. hand or could it be balanced? A diamond is waiting and a spade. Oh, this is the annoying auction. Oh, I see. So this, so this is the one heart response, and now you just sort of have to gobble up the space, basically. Yeah, so unfortunately, we sort of like preempted ourselves a little bit, but we're in a game force. He showed eight plus with hearts, and uh, support hearts next. Just give it a little second to, you know, to avoid making it look like I have a super happy three, you know, don't want to help partner with my tempo. Give it a second, even though I have a very happy three hearts. Well, presumably you planned that out in advance, whatever. Is the, well, you know, three diamonds is a little bit, you, oftentimes he would just be two no to save space. So I think he probably looking at like two little clubs or something. Likely to be five five or six four four. Oh, oh my gosh! So this is just um, a. Str this is the only bid he has, which sets hearts as trumps. It doesn't really say anything about um, anything else, and so well, couldn't he just bid four hearts? Yeah, this is the stronger one. Yeah. So I'm going to give him. This is not clear, right? Because I have eighteen, which is the minimum. And I don't have a lot of points in his suits. So you got, you got but, primes, what the hell? Yeah, well, and good trumps is the yeah, thing. So I'm giving him a little last train here. And I also know that Jan is a little bit conservative in slams. So it's important to know your partner's style. Well, there you go. All right. Uh, this key card? Yeah, key card. Yes, yeah, so it's very important to know your partner's style. Um, others I have played with in the past um, are, are, are famously slam happy. Um, and in some of those cases, I had to avoid uh, last train with a hand like this. Yeah, it's very conservative. So yeah, I know that with them, you know, sort of a, a sign of life. 
I can show uh, some interest here, and, and he's not going to overbid too much. Ten of clubs matters to me here also because I'm in sort of a low club lead, which we're reasonably likely to get on this auction. Um, I've got some chances of kind of throwing away, you know, roughing one diamond and throwing a bunch away on clubs of spades. Well, you're the you're the declarer, Chris. The wrong side of it. I think. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm aware. yeah, that's too bad. Good point. He showed hearts, but I bid them. All right, well, let's see what happens. So on the one hand, the auction hasn't been that scientific. Um, on the other hand, the auction hasn't been that scientific, so it'll be a little harder for them to lead. Well, they basically know you have five spades and three hearts and know that he has red suits. That's, that part is not going to be that germane to their lead. You know, if they have eight yeah. fourths of diamonds, right? Yeah. That is that is true. They know the the not that important part. And the important part is my, my nurse and so um, East had the chance to double both diamonds and clubs. Right, right. But I think more, it's not, this is not kind of a, oh, well, we need to hit our partner's high card. It's more like, if Chris has a singleton diamond, we probably want to leave trumps. If, you know, if, but maybe Chris has three little clubs and we want to leave clubs through Jan's ace and one, um, et cetera, et cetera. That, 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 that's going to be the relevant part as far as I'm concerned. In other words, more a question of how the hand's going to be played rather than you have to find the killer. Mm, interesting. Oh, yeah, it's very interesting. Well, so I'm pretty sure how I'm going to play at the beginning, but like just, just for, for drill. Wow, Jan was really aggressive here. Um, so let's see. This is he was out of character. So what are we going to do here? Um, I've got five heart tricks, let's assume. Six, seven, I've got nine tricks. And he didn't try to hit his partner, which, you know, he's got good diamonds, you know, maybe including the ace. Um, it's interesting that he didn't lead a club. Definitely makes me think he has good diamonds. Uh, there. Well, I can't see any reason to make any particularly big play early, so I'm going to make a little play. I'm just going to start taking a, this finesse. That's not a good start for me. All right, so now I'm going to need, so I've got, let's see, can I, uh, so it looks like now I'm going to need some luck, and it's going to be using these roughs both as transportation and potential Establishment of the spades. Ouch. <laughs> All right, well. At least you know what you have to play for. Well, I'm just thinking. So he's got five spades and three hearts. What do, what do I have to play for is the point because if lefty, so, so actually I, what I have to play for is queen and one club offside, right? Because lefty has five spades and three hearts and he's followed to two diamonds. 
So he cannot have four little clubs. Right. So I do know what I have to play for. Yeah, that's what I meant when I said that. <laughs> Come on, Taylor, one time. Queen. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> but it's a it's a cool hand for counting yeah and it's funny if the defense hadn't been so effective and you needed one fewer trick you would have gone down probably yeah that's probably true. <laughs> nicely played yeah thanks What a great hand. <laughs> These are hands you feel a little bad about making because you don't want to encourage partner to bid that way in the future. I would feel less bad about it if it were in a real uh, tournament. <laughs> More bad about it against my teammates. All right, so I have one final decision, probably, uh, here. If, if uh, Espen passes, oh, majors. Okay, well, I just always do the same thing here, which is try to make it hard for them on the lead. Some folks might double here to set up a force and try to get a penalty. I just always feel like um, it's very helpful to east on lead if west can mention a major at the two level so i just try to I, 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 will, I will remember that that means i can come in very freely against you chris <laughs> uh, well, keep in mind if i had four spades the, <laughs> the odds might kind of change there but all right well here on the one hand they found the lead of their side's longest suit but on the other hand um, it might not be super effective So what is Jan going to do here? Um, does it, is there any cost to playing? I mean, is there any rationale? If the diamonds don't come in, he's got three diamonds and three clubs and two spades and a heart anyway. Yeah, so he's just going to play a club to dummy and a diamond down, I think. Well, no, the opponents could have five tricks before if, that, if that's the case. Well, probably not, unless they have a six-card spade. Oh, oh well, they... sp spades of five-three. And basically, if he loses to this diff ace of diamonds, he could just he's gonna go down. Which is actually not that unlikely of holding on the bidding. Uh -huh, unfortunately. All right. Thinking is good. I like thinking. That sounds like Boyd. Love. Oh, well, this makes it interesting. Oh, this is, this is the one, one interesting layout. Her piece of interest there might be the Deuce of Hearts is coming next. Well, the fact that he discarded a spade is interesting also. Well, and, and very unexpected. Why the hell would he pitch a spade? 6-5? He has a six-card spade suit. Hmm? Yeah, that's the only six. thing I can think of. But that... That means that he doesn't have the entries to. Uh... Well, we know. I mean, by definition, right? He can't have the entries. Well, no. It means his partner doesn't have a third spade. Right, six five. Six, yeah. Five. But it was still very informative to declare. Indeed. So maybe. Maybe six four three. Maybe maybe six four. Although why would he pitch it? I don't know. I mean, I guess it just sort of feels natural to pitch that idle six. But it'd be, it'd be a little he should. to overcall. Though if he has ace jack ten six of the spades and king fourth of hearts and three little clubs, most folks I think would show one suited major. So you, usually in my experience, people show six four, 
they when they show both majors with six four, they have a good hand. But they're planning to kind of correct hearts to spades, but uh, we'll see. Mm -hmm. anyway, um, anyway, so what does Declare have for tricks here? Two spades, two hearts. Uh, three clubs look like nine. Three clubs and two diamonds. Oh. All right, so he's got nine, nine tricks. Whatever happens. Well, this is the part where he leads with the diamond and then tries to kind of he's gonna he's gonna be able to squeeze Espen a little bit here. Um, unless Boya flies with the diamond and plays a heart through, which I do not foresee it. Speed backs a little more normal. So if if Boya now wins and exits a spade. Doesn't really, um, it doesn't really matter. For overture. Yeah, of course it matters. Why? Oh, oh you can set up the long... Uh, I'm sorry. Set up the long diamond, that's right. When... Um, oh, he's, he can set up the long... He, he still has... Ooh, interesting. Yeah, no. Wow! Interesting. Wow! There. Well, anyway... That that was really unexpected. It is. Right. Why would he pitch a spade? What the hell's going on? Now he can just set up the diamond for an overtrick. Oh, yeah, but I'm just you know, so totally baffled on that spade this card. Yeah, I don't know. Do you have like 10? It's really hard. I, I can't imagine any any hand where he would pitch a spade from. Yeah. That point is yeah. difficult. All right, well, that's all the bridge. We agreed to stop after 16. Um, did anybody have any other questions or comments? So I'll stay on for a couple of minutes if people have questions. Thanks, Chris, that was fun. Thanks, Chris, it was very nice. Hope to see you soon again. Thanks, Adam, for and Kit, Kit for your uh, wise remarks. Well, some of them and the so others wise. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's going to say. <laughs> All righty then. Take care, everyone. Okay. Take care. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Kit. Thanks, Adam.